So you were competing for like nine years and working full time. Mm. How did you, how did you deal with that? Because you were offshore mm. working on oil rigs and mm. doing a. It's a pretty gnarly job. Like rig work is, it's a proper work. Yeah, I suppose it's not for the, the kind of faint hearted <laughs> really. Um, yeah, it was. I don't know. It's a strange one with with how I kind of dealt with that. Um, I started working out in the rigs when I was 18. I remember the first helicopter flight I got, I genuinely didn't open my eyes once. I was <laughs> shitting myself. It was, it was so scared. And then I get off in the oil rig completely alien. You know, it's like I've gone from living my whole life in a house on land, just catting about, and then I'm off in an oil rig in the middle of the North Sea, I'm walking over a grating where you can see down to the sea. So in my head, that first trip, I didn't swear, I didn't, I didn't spit. I was like, I thought if I do all this stuff, I'm going to go home and I'll be okay. That was genuinely, <laughs> I remember thinking this to myself. So sort of trying to bank all the good karma yeah. you can. <laughs> Basically, I was shitting myself. And then, then you're meeting all these guys. I mean, 18, that was almost 20 years ago for me when I started. So... Um, Mixing with all these kind of big men, you know, it's like brass, like fucking hell, young and what are you doing? Wake up, you're you should be falling asleep in the tea shack and all this stuff. I just didn't have a clue, and um, the gym really kind of got me through that times, you know, that kind of um, really anxious, really not sure who I was, what I was going to do, you know, I, I didn't know what I was doing in the survey game, I want or the engineering things, it wasn't. I didn't go to uni, I didn't study it, it was just my dad got me a job as a kind of trainee, apprentice, whatever. Um, and for me, the gym was like my... When I go to the gym, I feel confident. You know, yeah. that's that, that's what I was like back then, So and still th to this day. Um, so I didn't really know as an 18-year-old, and I suppose a lot of people will be like that. You know, at 18, you're not really sure, you're confident in your familiar surroundings. You know, your group of friends... You go out, you're confident. That's cool. Yeah, but you don't know where you fit in the world. Yeah, big time. And that was me in a nutshell. I was like, jeez, I'm like, used to always go off in pairs as well. So I'm off with like a guy that's, you know, doing well, he's experienced, and I'm just some little pleb, you know, just probably getting <laughs> in the way most of the time. Don't know any terminology, you know, that you're talking about all different kind of, um, you know, the technical terms for pipe work and all this yeah. stuff. Didn't have a clue. Like, the guy's like, I'll go and measure that RSA. I'm like, what? Or the the, the UC, whatever. Like, I just didn't have a clue what any of these were. And uh, I felt like a right idiot. Really kind of, I remember phoning my mum and said, oh, mum, really don't like this. Like, this is not for me. Like, I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you're 200 miles or 150 miles in the North Sea stuck on an oil rig. <laughs> yeah, you're not nipping home. Yeah, so it was, I really kind of, strange learning curve that um but yeah back to the gym stuff so the gym for me was my happy place when i was on the oil rig so i looked forward to finishing we would do predominantly it was like 14 hour shifts that we did offshore um did my 14 hours and i couldn't wait to get to the gym that's all i was thinking about was like oh, i can't wait what have i got today? i've got bench night oh sweet what i'm gonna do and just getting hyped up for that every every time legit like every day I was offshore I couldn't wait to train and that's what you know you, you talk about kind of passions and stuff that was my passion you know yeah that's the only thing I really was happy doing um and then from 18 I just kind of you know worked I was really busy with with offshore stuff but generally in the in the North Sea in the UK we have a gym because it's part of um the I don't know. Like with mental health and yeah, keeping people yeah, you fit and have moving. To have and something, yeah. So that was one thing I was always. So I used to always go in the mindset that this is a training camp. Um, back then, I was, you know, doing the whole kind of bodybuilding kind of stuff. Um, I remember I'd be up training in the morning, half four in the morning, doing hours cardio before work, do some core work, work, train in the evenings. And I just, I loved it. It was like this is awesome. Such a good 
way of kind of adjusting your mindset to just really training hard and really kind of focusing on that one goal. And that's what I did throughout kind of my early 20s. And then, yeah, later on, I was, I was kind of thinking about doing a bodybuilding show, but it was just really kind of, the consistency wasn't there in the oil rigs I was going to, so it was an ad hoc job I was doing, which means that you're travelling different oil rigs all the time. So. Was that worldwide, or was that, would you just be North Sea based, or? Mm. Oh, it was everywhere, it was, um, oh, jeez, Malaysia, Indonesia, um, South Korea, Angola, America, Europe, all over Europe, um, yeah, like, all over the world, and that was like a young age, you know, like, 19, I think, was in the States for three months.